All right, new tonight, now that you've checked uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday off of your list, next is Giving Tuesday. It's a day devoted to charitable giving, and charities hope that Americans will be generous this holiday season. But they fear the change in the nation's tax laws might change how much Americans donate. Washington correspondent Alexandra Limon reports. From large-scale disasters like the wildfires in California to smaller but very real ones like a kitchen fire at home, the Red Cross helps people in need. We respond to 64,000 disasters on average every year. That's one every eight minutes. This Giving Tuesday, the Red Cross hopes Americans will give. They can donate blood, they can make a financial donation, and they can also give the gift of time. Changes to the tax law mean it will now be harder for most Americans to get a deduction for their charitable donations. But organizations like the Red Cross hope that won't stop people from giving. The optimist in me thinks that people give out of the goodness of their heart. Other organizations like Stand Together hope to entice donors with a different kind of incentive. Executive Director Evan Feinberg says Stand Together will give a dollar for dollar match through the end of Giving Tuesday. We identify and vet the most effective nonprofit organizations in the country. These organizations are taking uh, bold and innovative approaches that are helping people to lift themselves out of poverty. One example is an organization called The Phoenix. And they help people to overcome the power of addiction through a supportive community and celebrating sobriety rather than focusing just on their addiction. You can find a list of innovative charities on StandTogetherAgainstPoverty.org. And of course, the Red Cross is at RedCross.org. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.